from changing trends in jewelry to the fascinating history of a little known subject, hearing aids. And at this Mayfair clinic, you can see historic relics like the chased silver ear trumpet of the 19th century, and more ingenious, what is probably the first example of an aid being molded to fit into the ear. A delicate shell that is strangely effective, decoratively, as well as for its main purpose. Today, although hearing aids are smaller and more efficient, the trend nevertheless is towards disguising them, as in the case of this Alice Band hair clip. Statistics show that today, approximately one woman in ten doesn't hear as well as she should, and probably wouldn't wear a hearing aid on principle. Yet modern aids like these rhinestone earrings are often glamorous accessories that are fashionable as well as efficient. A new model that gives little or no indication of its real purpose. Of course, some models don't date, and this hearing aid come walking stick made in 1910 might still be used today, although admittedly it's a little unwieldy for use within the confines of a modern flat or crowded train. On the other hand, at least it's more adaptable than the first cumbersome valve aids of the early 1930s. In striking contrast, designer Sheila Ingram demonstrates one of the latest sub-miniature transitor hearing aids with a tiny battery that lasts for about 30 hours. Finally, an apparently ordinary looking pair of spectacles, typical of the ingenuity of hearing aid designers today. If you found that intriguing, you're